When I was 13 years old, I saw Lady Sings the Blues. It changed my life. I saw two black people in love, Billy Dee Williams and Diana Ross. It changed the trajectory of my life and I became a director because of it. I wanted people to feel what I felt. Thank you so much to the Critics' Choice Association for this amazing award. And thank you so much for celebrating and uplifting Black cinema, Black stories. This was such a paradigm shifting moment in my life. Kingsley, Eli, Aldous, Leslie. Each and every one of you guys brought your A game every single day. You deserve all of the acclaim that the town can give you and so much more. I am uh, no stranger to being a part of fantastic ensembles, but I've never been prouder uh, to be a part of a group than I am today. As producers and actors, John David Washington and Zendaya have created a world and characters that are as complete as we are as people, flawed, intricate, contradictory. They are storytellers committed to sharing the totality of our human experience. Thank you so, so much. We are both incredibly honored um, for this, this very special award and to be amongst so many people that um, I know I admire and appreciate um, the work that all of you have done. So this means so much to us. To be able to explore the beauty of Black love, the power of Black love, how regal we look, it was a dream come true to be able to do this and the way we got to do it and how it came together. Um, I'll remember for the rest of my life, along with receiving this. So, thank you. <laughs> thank you. There are some things an actor can't fake. An actor can't fake being smart, and an actor can't pretend to have gravitas. As Bobby Seal, Yaya brought his extraordinary skills, his exceptional mind, and his breathtaking gravitas to bear and made penetrating contact with the audience. You know, to me, the message of this film was very simple. It was a challenge to find our moral courage and to ask ourselves, what are we willing to do when times get hard? What are we willing to stand up for and where are we going to be when it's time to fight? Judas and the Black Messiah celebrates the life of Illinois Black Panther Party Chairman Fred Hampton. It's a powerful story inspired by these real events and told through the bold vision of Shaka Kid. Chairman Fred Hampton said, you can kill a revolutionary, but you can't kill a revolution. That revolutionary spirit is in Chairman's legacy, one that continues today. This year, we've heard the rallying cry for justice and equality from more voices than ever before. As artists, it's on us to keep our voices raised, to tell our stories, Black stories, and to show that these stories are vital. In fact, I would say that today, the telling of them is more vital than ever. Most importantly, I want to thank the Illinois Black Panther Party and Black Panther Cubs, uh, Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. Akuna Jerry and all of the individuals who took the time to speak with me and offer guidance throughout the process. Uh, it's an honor to be here tonight. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to be able to present this award to two of the most talented producers in the business. Uh, they are the personification of what happens when you combine talent, hard work, and vision. And they're also really great fathers. This award is incredible, and I'm so honored to be one of the recipients. Uh, I also want to thank my partner, John Legend and Ty Seclorius. Uh, you know, we, we endeavor to, to tell stories that highlight the underprivileged and the marginalized. And we wanted to create content that was inspiring and moving and uh, would really connect our audience. We will never break. We will never break. Build on our foundation, strong enough to stay. We will never break as the water rises and the mountains shake. Our love will remain. We will never That image of Tommy Smith standing on the podium with a raised black glove fist as the United States national anthem played at the 1968 Olympics in Mexico City is an image that is just as iconic today as it was more than 50 years ago. But the truth is, it doesn't even begin to tell the entire story about the moment, and certainly not about the man. That's 
where filmmakers Afshin Shahidi and Glenn Kaino come in. It's exactly what they do with their incredible documentary, With Drawn Arms. Standing up in the sight of humanity for justice was a responsibility. That responsibility I had as a person to bring the need of hope forward. It was a divine sacrifice to bring recognition to what was going on then and what we are still experiencing now. I had the pleasure of working with Tessa Thompson on our film, Sylvie's Love. But long before that, I was a fan. Talk about an incredible and versatile talent. She shines on screen and brought something new and fresh with every take. She makes it look easy. And as committed as she is as an artist and collaborator, she's an even more dedicated friend and human. This year, which has been a hard one for so many, this feels like a beacon of joy. This is a time when once again, we are talking in this nation and globally about the value and dignity of black life. And I believe that the stories that we tell about blackness in this moment are even more resonant. I got my time coming to me. That's to get the people's attention. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. No one will fire me, I don't care. Come on. Come on! On behalf of Chadwick's wife, Simone, and his family, I am pleased and honored to accept the Performance of the Year Award for Chadwick Boseman, incredible artist, extraordinary human being, a light, an energy, a power. I can honestly say I would not be the actor I have become, nor know the actor I want to be without the presence, without the career, and without the artistry of Mr. Delroy Lindo. For years, he's been breathing life into characters on the big screen, on the small screen, and killing it. He commands the screen with such a regal presence, with such humanity, with such integrity and humor. You know, one of the things I'm most proud of with the Five Bloods is the fact that it serves as a very, very persuasive historical corrective correcting the fact that black vets, Vietnam vets, their stories have not been told in the way that we are telling it in this film. So thank you for this award. I appreciate it with regard to um, my presence in the film and also the recognition of the work that I've done in the past just more broadly. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. God bless. 